Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing this very summery, beachy, kind of like oceany sunset cut crease makeup look. I'm not yet decided on a title. But yeah, we're going to create this look for you guys today. So if you're interested in how I get from A to B, then just keep watching. So first things first, I'm going to prime my eyelids with, of course, my usual MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm using a little Eeg Show crease brush to apply this all over the lid and brow bone area to neutralize the eyelids and create a nice even canvas for the shadows to really show up nice and true to their color and super pigmented. Next, taking this beautiful like light yellowy orangey tone on a fluffy Zoeva brush, I'm blending this through my outer crease area and outer V, so connecting it to the outer corner of my eye and taking it through the crease, just mapping out that kind of cut crease shape that we're going to create. And I'm keeping it quite soft and very smoked out and blended. I want to drag it out all the way to the tail of the brow. Next, taking a darker orange shade, this is like a more soft orange tone on a petite crease brush and I'm just following that shape we created with the light yellowy tone. Just placing that from my outer corner and through the crease, again smoking it out towards the tail of the brow. Taking a deeper orange tone this time on a more like precise brush, this is a pencil brush, I'm taking it through the outer V and then with whatever's left on the brush taking it through the crease. I want to make sure that's nice and deep in the crease to give a bit of definition. And again, kind of complement that gradient effect that we're creating. So we're going from a lighter tone into a deeper tone. Then I go back and forth between the previous shadows to softly blend that deep orange out. Next, taking Bitten from Makeup Geek, again on that same pencil brush, I'm deepening up the outer V area, um, just where that orange was, just to create again a further gradient effect, mimicking that kind of sunset vibe. I'm taking it all the way through the crease, then I go back in with some of that deep orange shade on a petite crease brush and blend out Bitten and again I go back and forth between those lighter tones as well to just smoke it out a bit more and give a nice soft blended effect so there's no harsh lines. And I do like to go back in with a bit of Bitten and just deepen out that very outer corner of the eye so I smoke it a little bit more onto the lid and I also drag it out a little bit. Then I'm taking my lip brush from Eeg Show. I'm actually cutting my crease with some of my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going in just as your usual cut crease on the first two thirds of the eye. Then for the outer third, I'm actually going in and mapping out that kind of outer corner point, I guess is what we're gonna call it. Just following that shape that we've created. And I'm keeping it very light. I'm not actually gonna fill it in or anything like that. I did fill in the first two thirds of the eye. But I just wanted to kind of mimic that shape, get an idea for when we apply that blue liner later on. Next I'm going to take Poolside on a precise shader brush and I'm applying that all over the lid where that kind of paint pot is. So about two thirds of the way across and just building up that shadow. I thought it was such a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of aquary blue shade for this look. And it's a satin shade as well so it has a bit of shimmer to it. Next I'm taking this beautiful deep kind of burgundy shade from the Chi Chi palette and applying that to the outer third of the eye um, just inside that shape that we created that uh, outer corner point and I'm blending it into poolside so I like to go back and forth between the poolside shade and that burgundy tone to get the perfect blend between the two so take your time with this step guys, I use my finger, I use my brush, I just use whatever I feel is necessary to get that beautiful blend. And I did want it to be more of a smoked out kind of wing effect on the outer corner, so I do bring poolside across on a diagonal uh, kind of slope as you guys can see along that uh, lid space, just to give the burgundy shade a kind of smoked out wing effect, as you guys can see, if that makes sense. <laughs> Next, taking this clay pot from Tarte, this is in the shade Blue Moon. Oh, isn't it such a stunning, stunning colour? I love it so much. And on an eyeliner brush from Eek Show, I'm going to just basically trace along the outside of the shape that we created before with the cut crease. Take your time with the step, guys, and I'm not bringing it all the way into my inner corner. I'm stopping about two-thirds of the way across so it goes from that blue and kind of traces along the outside of that burgundy color. 
just a little bit something like that you know again don't mind if your eyes aren't perfectly even mine didn't end up being too even but i was happy enough with the end result <laughs> to highlight my brow bone i'm taking ice queen from makeup gig it's a beautiful shimmery white tone and applying that to the very highest points of the brow then for lashes i'm going in with these beautiful lashes from my kona lashes in the style make him miss me i just love them so much they've got a the beautiful feline effect because they're shorter on the inner corner longer on the outer corner to line my waterline, I'm first of all going in with Makeup Geek Espresso, which is a brown eye coal, and applying that along my waterline. Then I'm going to take that burgundy eyeshadow that we used before, and I'm placing that over top of the brown eyeliner, just to give a bit of more of like a pinky effect to it. I didn't have a pink eye coal or burgundy eye coal, so I used the brown and then the pink over top. But if you guys have a brown eye coal, I recommend doing that. Especially if you have sensitive eyes, don't use an eyeshadow in your waterline, that's going to aggravate it. Then I also dragged that burgundy shade underneath the bottom lash line and I smoked it out a little bit with some of that orange tone and a pencil brush. Then I'm going in with my petite crease brush and just blending out the edges so there's no harsh lines and it's nice and smoky on that bottom lash line. Next, taking my Focalore highlighting quad, I'm actually taking that lightest highlight shade and applying that to my inner corners. And I wanted it to be a little bit more golden, so I took the kind of yellow gold shade from the Chi Chi palette and applied that over top, and that was it. That was the perfect inner corner highlight for this look. Then I applied some bottom lash mascara, and that completes today's eyeshadow look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I didn't think it was too crazy or too hard to achieve for you. Let me know what you think down below. And if you have any requests for future videos, please let me know. Have an amazing week. I love you all so much. And I'll see you very, very soon. Mwah. Bye, guys.